In today's video, I attempt the first room challenge on every Black Ops Cold War map. If you enjoy the video, drop a like. I said drop a like, do it now, do it. And subscribe if you're not already. Enough chit chat. Welcome to Black Ops Cold War, a game with incredible mechanics and unfortunately lackluster maps. Uh, this is the Halloween event, so it's an amazing time to be recording this because all the zombies, including the specialty zombies, are Halloween themed. So they all have like pumpkins and stuff. Got these cool death animations. This is a lot of fun. So you'll notice that I don't have a pistol here. I'm rocking the Hauer. And the reason for this is upon looking at the rules on the website, it specifically says that you're allowed to use pretty well any weapon, any equipment and anything that you want to use to try and get as high of a round as you can in the first room. And so I know I was trying to go for like the most vanilla feel possible, but unfortunately with the way that this game is designed, if you were to only rock a pistol, you unfortunately wouldn't get very far. And so after an internal battle with my own thoughts, I have decided to just use a Hauer where you're still going to be doing the one down thing in the sense that if I down once, that's the end of the round and we'll have to move on to the next map. But in order to make this a little more entertaining, plus more fun for myself, I've decided to just use whatever gun I want. And in this case, we're using the Hauer. But this game is going to be interesting because a lot of the first rooms are very open, specifically here in D Machine. I mean, a lot of the round 100 strats actually take place in the starting room, which is something that you never, ever see in Zombies maps. So Cold War is an interesting title for doing first room challenges, especially comparing them to the previous ones that I have done. But I'm all the more for it because I am a Cold War lover. I think this game is excellent. It just didn't have great maps. Aside from D Machine, I mean, I think D Machine is so much fun. But the rest of the maps that released, they were just kind of meh and that sucks. But it'll be interesting because I think there's a Dark Ops challenge in this game that if you beat round 15, because one of the big green guys does spawn on round 15, which makes it extremely difficult, of course. But if you do beat round 15, you complete a Dark Ops challenge if you stay within the first room. And I have yet to complete that. So it'll be interesting to see if I can actually complete that today. But anyway, I just wanted to say thank you all for all the support. The videos have really been thriving lately. A ton of people have been subscribing, which is just incredible. So I definitely will have to continue making content like this. I mean, it's fun to make. What is this? What, what did that just do? Oh, it gave me... Oh, yo, that's sick. Oh, this is going to make it so much easier. This is going to be crazy. Ah, oh, another one. What are we getting? Brain Rot? I don't know if I necessarily want Brain Rot. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to keep uh, the Shatter Blast. What, is that a Chalice? What the? Bronze Chalice. Oh, it Pack-a-Punches the gun. Okay, this Halloween event is incredible. Another one. Ooh. I think it's amazing that they decided to add this event to Cold War instead of Vanguard. And maybe they added it to Vanguard too. It's just I refuse to play that game. But updating their game that is a part of the previously launched title is awesome. So, so cool. And I'm glad that they recognize that this game is clearly more widely played. Oh, that was cool. Oh, they're giving me some stuffs. That's nice. Oh, a cruise missile. I don't think I've ever used a cruise missile in <laughs> zombies before. I'm going to try and use this cruise missile. I think I think this would be kind of cool. Yo, that's sick. A napalm strike, man. They're treating me well right now. The perks in this game are interesting too because they've kind of done all of the Treyarch classic perks, except for Double Tap, which I'm still sour about. But then they started doing some Black Ops 4 perks. Like, I know PhD Slider is there, which by the way, PhD Slider in this game is a godsend. It is so good and fun to use. But beyond that, there's at least one other Black Ops 4 perk that they put into this game. I forget what it's called. It's the one that allows you to see through the walls. But those Black Ops 4 perks perks feel better in this game than they did in Black Ops 4. So it clearly just shows that like the mechanics in Black Ops 4 zombies were cool, but they just didn't really blend well together. There was too many of two different many things. I, I worded that very poorly, but I'm hoping you understand what I'm trying to say here. This is where it gets serious. <gasps> Casimir? No way. I didn't think we were going to get one. Where is he spawning? I was spawning over here at the bad place. Oh my. That just destroyed him. Holy, that was insane. This is almost too overpowered. But you know what? It's a lot of fun. And that's all that matters, at least for me. We're definitely guaranteed to beat this round here. So let me just go ahead and whip out the death machine. I'll have a bit of fun with this thing. 
Oh yeah. Reminds me of that mission from Black Ops 1. Got the achievement. We did it. We did it. Well, anyway, we were able to beat round 15. I'm just going to go ahead and fly on to the next map. So after D Machine, we got Firebase Z, which at the time was an extremely fun map to play, but I think over time it kind of lost its magic, and now it's just kind of an annoying map to play, especially where every like 10 rounds you have to fight one of those giant Nordic elder gods. I forget what the enemy is actually called, but we saw him. He's like a really cool Easter egg in D Machine, like at round 45 or something like that. You can see him walking in the woods. It was like a slight hint as to what was to come in future titles, or sorry, future maps. But the first room here on Firebase Z is an interesting one, because originally, you were able to run and jump up onto this ledge, and it would allow you to not have to buy the door. For some reason, Treyarch felt the need to patch it, even though a 1250 isn't that many points. It doesn't affect the game in any way, but Treyarch specifically, for some reason, did not want us to be able to do that, and so they ruined everyone's fun. And so nerfing guns, fixing maps that have like little fun bugs like that that people enjoy doing. I will never understand why Treyarch does that. The whole point of zombies is to be overpowered and to have fun being overpowered. And as the rounds get higher, it gets more challenging. But in early rounds, why does it matter? Eventually, we would come to find out that pretty much all the maps on Cold War are just kind of lackluster aside from D-Machine. That's a really solid map. But mechanics were set in place really strong mechanics that hopefully will be brought back in future Zombies titles. Treyarch made a really good basis for something that they can extend on and expand on, and I'm excited to see what they have to do, or what they have in store, what they can do, what they will do. We do have a Quick Revive machine, which uh, literally doesn't even matter because Quick Revive doesn't do anything. Although I genuinely, genuinely do wish that the uh, self revive system was not in this game and that it was just the standard quick revive system. Three quick revives, four downs, game over. Everything else in the game can stay, but I think that system should have been removed and replaced with the classic quick revive revive system. Because like those world records of people hitting like round 935 or whatever, they have like 150 downs and they just keep buying you know, self-revive. It's lame. But no, Firebase Z is a fine map. It's just, it has some really weird issues that I'm not a huge fan of, kind of like the boss battle every 10 rounds. The Easter egg is cool. It's just getting the Ray K, which by the way is a great wonder weapon, is really annoying, especially that like dart step that you have to do in this room over here. That step is horrible. And then for the main Easter egg, navigating the computer thing on PC is just abysmal. If you have a controller, it's not terrible, but if you're playing keyboard and mouse, <laughs> Good luck. We haven't had many pumpkins so far yet. Now I can't remember, maybe we didn't have that many pumpkins up till round eight on D Machine either. Oh, <laughs> look at that. What are you giving me? A war machine and level two armor. We like that, we like that. Oh, there's another pumpkin. All right, I spoke too soon, I suppose. What are you giving us? Ooh, you love to see it. I'm trying to save my Molotov for like in case we get any larger enemies, but that would have been a nice wave to take out. Another little pumpkin there. Eventually they uh, they go away really quickly, so I kind of don't want to waste it. Oh, oh, it's a mimic. Of course, of course. I did that to myself. Cruise missile, I'll pass on that, but I will take the level two armor. That's for sure. I'm pretty sure I just said level tool armor, but we're gonna go ahead and ignore that. But I will take the level tool armor. Couple more rounds to go if I can make it. Maybe I should start taking advantage of this war machine. Oh wait, no, I just heard a mimic. Did I hear a mimic? Yes, I did. All right, I see him over there. Ah, the Cold War is so much fun to play. The camo grind was incredible. I didn't even complete it, but like the challenges were pretty easy. Difficult enough that it would take a pretty large grind, but easy enough that anybody would be able to do it. The movement is so smooth. Feels incredible. Especially when you have perks on, like when you have speed cola, and you have like PhD slider, and your movement is just unmatched. Ah, uh-oh. Get me out of you. Can't go down yet. Uh-oh, that's not good. No! Oh man, I got trapped there. That sucks. All right, moving on. Okay, now this is a really... What is this? The f*** is this? Outbreak? No ma'am, no ma'am. Now this is a really good map. I mean, don't get me wrong, it definitely still has its issues, and I think I still like... I think this is probably a better map 
than D-Machine, although I still enjoy playing D-Machine more. Like if I'm loading up Cold War to continue the camo grind or just fool around and have some fun, I'm definitely loading up D-Machine before I'm loading up Mauer. With that being said, this feels more like a traditional Treyarch Zombies map than any other map on this game, and I definitely, definitely like that. This first room is interesting too because if we come down here, Tombstone Soda, it's right here in the first room, but we also have... Oh wait, do we not? I thought we had one of those armor stands. Do we not have an armor thing here? I thought for sure we did. Apparently not. Never mind, I'm going crazy. For some reason, I thought there was like an armor stand down here. You can upgrade your gun and stuff right from the start room. But uh, I'm apparently losing my mind. But this is a really good start room. You have like this big platform up here, zip lines from the start. That's how you know you're having a good zombies map right there. This Easter egg is solid. This Easter egg is difficult. Like if you have a few people, it's actually pretty easy, but doing this Easter egg solo is hard. Like it's really difficult, at least I find, but man. I mean, reflections in a game, like water reflections in a game is instantly gonna make your game look better. It just is. It's the same reason why an amateur filmmaker can make a night shot look incredible if they just splash some water on the road. You know what I mean? It just instantly adds quality to whatever you're trying to film. But with that being said, the graphics on this game are solid and specifically Mowager Toten with the rain and the running water and the lights and the reflections and the shadows. And this game looks incredible without a doubt. And right now I have ray tracing turned on. You get those ray traced shadows and the ray traced lighting and looks amazing for sure. But even with ray tracing like shadows turned off, it still looks stunning. Yeah, Brain Rot's good. I'd still rather have Shatter Blast, so if that does end up dropping later, I'll definitely be trading it out. But Brain Rot in an early round, solid, solid choice. So the next challenge that we have to do post Cold War is literally going back and doing World at War and Oh, Mimic. But all we have to do is go back and do the original World at War maps, and then that is all the first room challenge maps. I've heard some people recommend that I should do the first room challenge for all of the uh, Zombies Chronicle maps, and maybe I'll look at doing that in the future. But to be honest, those are just remakes of maps that we've already done. So I don't really see the point. I think we probably just do the original classic maps and then we leave it until future titles come out or different challenges come my way. There's a couple of challenges that I want to attempt, like one that I want to attempt and I know it's just going to be impossible for me, but it's uh, the rainbow perk challenge on Origins. So what the idea is, is I think there's eight perks on Origins and you collect the perks in rainbow order. So you would get like Juggernog first because it's red. Then you would get, I think, double tap because it's orange. No, no, I'm messing this up here. Either way, you would just get the perks in the ascending colors of the rainbow in that order. Are you kidding me? We got the Cerberus? Are you joking me? Am I allowed to use this? No. No, I'm, I'm not going to use this. This makes it a little too overpowered. I'm just going to use my shotgun because the shotgun with pack a punch and alternate ammo types already is making it probably a little bit too easy. There's no way I'm also using the Cerberus. That just seems unfair. It's unfortunate that it's just, uh oh, Panzer. Are you kidding me? Or is that a, uh, oh no, it's a, uh, no, it is a Panzer. This isn't good. Get out of here. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Use this. Cruise missile not available. I think I completely missed that Molotov, that sucks. Okay, Ether. I haven't even used an Ether Shroud yet, but where's my guy? Where is he? Where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He ran away, little punk. You're dead, Panzer. I guess technically it's not even a Panzer, it's a Cranny. It's a Cranny Soldat. Everyone knows you call it a Panzer. It's been called a Panzer for 10 years pretty well. <laughs> Got a couple of pumpkins I get to use. Oh, of course one's a Mimic. That was like literally the most wild four minutes of my week. And I guess a Cryo Freeze. Sure. I just need to play better here because I've got to make it to round 16 on Mauer. This is an excellent map. I'm honestly embarrassed I didn't make it to round 16 on Firebase Z, but oh well. I mean, I'm feeling confident. Hopefully I don't feel overconfident because that's what gets you killed. I do need some armor though. Is there a place where I can buy? No, of course not. There's no armor stations inside here. I thought there was. Yeah, look at them down there. Just culting. Gotta love zombies culting, just doing their thing. Look at this, we're doing solid. I think around 16 is pretty much guaranteed at this point. So long as a panzer doesn't actually come in and ruin my day. Oh yes, this Casimir is 
pretty much guaranteed to get us there. So this is good. This is good. So uh, save up some zombies. We'll just use the Casimir. Hopefully it'll pretty well end the round. And then we'll just straight up move on to, uh, to round 15. See if we can end this thing. Very good. Oh, look at them kills. That is such a satisfying sound. But so long as we can beat this round, then we'll be standing strong. Oh, what is this? Oh, round 15 is the exploding guys? This will be easy. We definitely had to fight our way to get here, but now that round 15 is an easy round, look at that. Basic. So nice. So perfect. Another round 16. Let's move on to the most interesting map for this challenge. So according to the Zombies World Records website, this actually isn't included in the first room challenge because technically this is a no man's land challenge. It's no man's land 2.0. However, this is the first room for this map. I thought I could jump up there. So as a finale to this video, I think it would be interesting if we could just see how high of a round we could actually get to. I know that the first room or sorry, the uh, no man's land challenge for this game isn't all that easy. It's certainly, the challenge definitely kicks up pretty rapidly, but I think it'd be a lot of fun. And this may only take me a few minutes before I actually end up dying, but especially with this new Halloween event going on, I think it's going to add some element of challenge, but also give us some stuff to help us, which is sick. So long as I don't play poorly and end up getting myself killed. It'd be nice if we can make it to round 16 again, just a short little sweet thing. If we are looking strong by then, I'll just keep going. I'm gonna need y'all to clear out of my way there so I can get my pumpkin though. All right, flame, flame on. I'll tell you what though, I hardly ever took advantage of my ether shroud this entire video. I don't know why, it was there for our use. I just never used it. I probably could have used it for, uh, well, I didn't have to for D machine or, well, I had to use it once from hour, but I definitely could have used it for Firebase Z. That definitely would have gotten us to round 16. Oh well, what's done is done. We're moving on. You don't hold grudges. Flame on, give me my pumpkin. Ooh, a pack a punch or an upgrade. I always forget what these things are actually doing. I get distracted, lost. Uh-oh, get this though. Ooh, I need Shatter Blast. Give me Shatter Blast. And I am completely out of ammo. Uh, oh, I can buy ammo here. Look at this. Uh-oh, the zombies are there though. Let's go with the ammo. This is kind of crazy. We're taking advantage of our ether shroud. Ah, what is that, a Casimir? Is that a Casimir? I certainly need that Casimir. Very nice. Ooh, pumpkin. Ah, still no Pack-a-Punch though. That's uh, kind of ruining us right now. We'll flame on though. What are you? What do you do? Oh, just a part of the Easter egg, I guess. Uh oh, no! Oh, that sucks. Round 13, we performed well. Just a bit of fun anyway, to be honest. Thank you all so much for joining me on this Halloween edition of Cold War First Room Challenge. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like to show me that you did. Uh, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take care.